Isang napakagandang umaga, muli ang binigay sa atin ng ating Diyos. Kaya tayo po ay magpasalamat, tayo po ay magpuri sa pagkakataon muli na tayo po ay makapag-aral na kanyang salita. Ang title ng ating devotion ay The Cross of Christ. At ang ating passage ay may kita sa 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. At ito pong sinasabi, And he himself brought our sins in his body up on the cross, so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness by his wounds you were healed. Tayo po yung manalangin muna. Aming dakilang Diyos, pinupuri ka namin, pinapasalamatan sa araw nito. Pagpalaan niyo po kaming lahat, especially sa aming pag-aaral ng inyong salita. Tulungan niyo po kami, Panginoon, na mas maitindihan nito. Pag hindi, Panginoon, ay may apply po namin sa aming pang-araw-araw na buhay. Ito ang masamad na langin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Why is the cross so important to Christians? The cross is the most widely recognized Christian symbol sa buong mundo. Ito ay na-adorn ng millions of churches at mga mananampalataya. The cross of Christ is at the heart of Christianity. And the Bible is filled with references to it. Books have been written and sermons preached on it. And it is the most recognizable symbol of Christianity. The cross is more than the universal symbol of Christianity. The cross of Christ carries the message of love, finality, and fulfilled promises. The cross has significance in it, and it is a reminder of what Jesus did for us. It is also a powerful reminder of the price paid for our redemption. And the price that was paid is the life of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross. On the cross, a 100% God and 100% man, and that is Jesus Christ, took upon himself the sins of the world in his body. And he bore the wrath of God for our sins there. On the cross, Jesus took the punishment we deserve for our sins. He did not deserve to die on the cross, but he willingly took our place and experienced death for us. Because Jesus' death was a substitution. The righteous for the unrighteous, the innocent for the guilty, the perfect for the corrupt. And Jesus took our place in that he was made sin for us. Sabi po sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. He made him who knew sin to be sin on our behalf. As Jesus was hanging on the cross, suspended between earth and heaven, the sins of the whole world was placed upon him. The perfect son of God, the perfect son of man, carried our guilt. Jesus died in our place when he was crucified on the cross. We deserve to be the ones placed on that cross to die because we are the ones who are sinful. But Christ took the punishment on himself in our place. He substituted himself for us and took what we rightly deserve. Kaya nga po bilang mga mananampalataya, if we want to grow in our love for God, which is the first and greatest commandment, then we must be growing to understand and appreciate the cross of Christ, which shows us his great love. And if we want to grow in godliness bilang mga mananampalataya, we must grow in understanding the significance of the cross sa atin po bilang mga mananampalataya, which confronts the most prevalent and insidious of all sins, and that is pride. 
now may an encourage you sa lahat ng mga nakikinig sa devotion na ito. If you have if you have never come to having a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, may I invite you to receive him as your Lord and personal savior. Because God so loved you that he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross to pay for your sin. Now, will you accept his loving gift of eternal life today? I hope so. And sa lahat naman po ng mga mananampalataya, I believe it is time to come back to the cross of Christ. It is the simplicity of this cross that provides direction and motivation for our lives as we grow more, as we grow more deeper in our relationship with Him. Kaya nga po, I challenge you to commit yourself to Him now. Let us pray. Oh dear God, thank you again po sa inyong salita, sa short devotion na mo rin kami. Magpalaan niyo po ang lahat ng mga nakikinig. Ito nga masama na lang sa pangalan Jesus. Amen. Good morning and may God bless you all.